Vsauce, Kevin here, Christmas, rioting, getting drunk, and demanding food from rich people. The twelfth night of Christmas in Tudor era England reversed class roles, with peasants being served by nobles, a tradition stemming from the ancient Roman festival of Saturnalia. Even through the early 1800s, Christmas Day in New York City saw the poor getting drunk and rioting against the elite, extorting food and drink, and vandalizing their homes. The Santa Claus we know today was developed in part to make the focus of the holiday giving gifts to children, which kept the lower class home with their families and not out knocking down doors for figgy pudding. The model for Santa was Saint Nicholas, a 4th century Christian saint famous for secret gift giving, like putting coins in the shoes left out for him. And the name Santa Claus is a phonetic alteration of the German Sant Niklaus. After the Protestant Reformation, veneration of saints fell out of favor throughout much of Europe. So, secret gift giving and behavior monitoring fell upon folklore companions of Saint Nicholas, like Belschnickel, a ragged looking man clad in fur who threatens naughty kids with a stick. An 1821 poem, the first contemporary description of Santa Claus, reveals that he left a birch rod in children's stockings so parents could discipline them. That poem was called The Children's Friend, and suddenly Cole sounds pretty good. Hanging stockings at Christmas evolved from the practice of leaving carrots in boots near the chimney to feed the Norse mythological god Odin's flying horse. Odin came down the chimney, or fire hole, and in exchange for the horse food, left candy. Mistletoe has been revered for millennia because it stays a vibrant green through the winter. It also grows on oak trees, which were sacred to ancient druids with the likely derivation of the word druid being one with knowledge of the oak. Druids thought of kissing under mistletoe as a love charm that promoted fertility, because mistletoe contained the soul of the beloved oak tree, and also that it was the oak tree's genitals. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>